speaking on um, during the conference. Thank you, thank you. I think before I mentioned that again, listening to Abiba and Geoffrey, mm -hmm. in terms of the expectation, more so in when they were in school and what they expect to do when they get out of college. Yes. It's basically rep a representative of what most of the young people. And sometimes you get disappointed because your expectations are, are not met. The mention is to make sure that we speak to the demands of the industry, both in terms of the technical uh, skills. And where we sit, we normally say technical skills get you hired. Mm -hmm soft skills get you fired mm -hmm. and it has been shown that uh, soft skills contribute about 30 percent of your productivity in terms of how you relate and the rest yeah and uh, coming to monday 15 16 uh, as i mentioned mm -hmm. world youth skills day basically set aside by un to celebrate the skills and the uh, development of skills for young people and particularly this one you are saying youth skills and for peace and development speaks to what we have been seeing um, not only in Kenya but around the world True. where there have been a lot of concerns that uh, a lot of disconnect between uh, the expectation of young people and what people uh, uh, provide. Sometimes they may look at as if we are the, the problem ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we want to come out and really have a conversation with them and also show them the opportunities. So in this uh, conference we are bringing in um, stakeholders and partners from industry uh, there will be a lot in discussion about career uh, career guidance career development um, we are also uh, exploring uh, possibilities of even uh, opportunities outside and as a country as i mentioned we have developed our education and training system to an extent that uh, we are able to have our qualification uh, internationally compared recognized, yeah. and recognized and uh, particularly on the side of the skills one of the things that we are using to promote skills other than the conference and skilling that we'll be discussing yes we are using this opportunity to um uh, show the activities that will be running for the next three months concerning the youths mm -hmm. one of uh, other than this conference on 18 19th of next month we'll be having a whole mm -hmm. one week on skills competition mm -hmm. i know people about olympic which basically we are bringing all our uh, TVET and university students to compete uh, based on uh, World Skills International uh, framework where we are already a, a member. And uh, uh, the winners of that competition will be representing Kenya next year in April in Zambia mm -hmm. for African competition. Oh, that's wonderful. And that is not enough. Yeah. Uh, on ninth, on on tenth to fifteenth of September, mm -hmm. we have nine great Kenyans who won in our last year competitions. Yes. They will be representing Kenya in Fr in skills competition. I know oh, we are now fantastic. in France in yeah. Olympics. for the Olympics. Yeah. We are going back again yeah. on uh, on September mm -hmm. to showcase skills. And the advantage of this is that um, this skills competition is now putting Kenya in an international map as a source of skilled labor. And this is where we want to push our people. I know we've talked a lot about um, uh, foreign jobs. Sometimes we've been sending non-skills or uh, mm -hmm. uh, semi-skilled. But yeah. this time we want to send skilled labor. Skill labor yeah. And that is the conversation, the network that we have talked about. Yes. You can imagine competing with someone from Japan, from yes. Britain. You have that confidence to be able to develop yourself True. going forward, knowing that mm -hmm. there is no limit in skills. True. Invaluable, invaluable networks that can be created there. I miss care what's happening 15th and 16th and then the 18th and 19th of next month. So that potentially could be going to Zambia uh, yeah. next year. Habiba, yeah. kindly, very briefly, just tell us what, as a young person, what are our expectations of, you know, the job market, the employment market, etc. And then uh, how we can ready ourselves very, very briefly. Yeah. 
thank you so much. I'd like to echo Dr. by saying thank you so much for even providing us the opportunity to be able to, to express some of the expectations we have. We hope through this conference we'll be able to address some of these expectations that we have. Mm -hmm. And just to mention a few is that a lot of us desire quality education. Yes. And we all want the return on our investments as we invest in our education. So looking into how our education systems are set up it is very important to see that it is in the best interest of the learner mm -hmm. and not just as a system to churn money out that's true and, you mm -hmm. know leave people out in the dark also it is the hope of uh, every person who joins an institution and comes out on the other side that they are able to secure a job now i am quoting the precariat uh, written by uh, mr standing and he he identifies um the insecure and this now gives us uh, a, a need to 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 provide benefits to 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 workers and make sure that they are well kept. Mm -hmm. uh, also, entrepreneurial support. And I think it would be very unfair if I don't talk about this because a lot of youth who have um, uh, acquired entrepreneurial support from the government, let's say for example, help, mm -hmm. having a very difficult time paying back this loan. And I feel like we can implement other strategies including um, zero interest uh, funding with regards to the same, just to yeah. assist the youth in uh, being able to finance their studies mm -hmm. and such. Um, inclusive governance. Yes. Inclusive governance is one of the biggest youth expectations. We do not want to just be uh, kept in one department and told, you know, any department. Yeah, we want inclusive, um, very robust, and um, we want to be in every department. Yes, at every level. Yeah, at every level. Mm -hmm. We deserve that at the very least. Now, my, I don't know if we are going to have parting shots or... If it can take 10 seconds, yes. <laughs> yeah, so my parting shot would be, yeah. even the best cooking pot mm -hmm. will not produce food. So at the end of the day, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? because as we're telling Dr. our expectations and all these things, yeah. we know on their end that they are going to push. Otherwise, to mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So... So we are confident in the abilities to be able to to address our needs and concerns. Yes. And therefore, when opportunities like uh, the upskilling conference that is coming up, I want to urge my fellow youth to be able to come and participate in this. Lazima to jitume pia. jitume. In one minute or less, Joffrey, please just give us uh, one or two tips that you have for young people uh, as far as getting into the employment world and, of course, securing, you know, meaningful work. Yeah, uh, first... Uh, Kindly, just give me not two minutes, but uh, it has to be one. Time is not on our yeah, side, uh, okay, uh, yeah, unfortunately. Um, yeah. What I tell the young people, mm -hmm. uh, like you can't just wake up and uh, you be rich overnight because mm -hmm. most youth don't want to work hard. Because, like myself, is that true that most youth no. don't want to work hard? That's yeah. a lie, Joffrey. You see, <laughs> I've interacted with most youths. Uh -huh. Some with most youths. Yeah, most youths. Okay. Uh, it depends where you are, where you are born. Mm -hmm. But most youths mm -hmm. of today mm -hmm. just want to be rich overnight, like myself. Where I'll I'll strongly disagree with you on that one. I, I don't I think a lot of why? young people want to why? be rich overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me why. Yes. You see, uh, like myself, mm -hmm. today I'm uh, the chief officer. Mm -hmm. Someone will see me driving. Some will want to drive big cars. Mm -hmm. That's one. A youth just after campus, they want to be rich overnight. That's you see, you can't be, it's a process. It is a you process. Have, you have to work True. towards it. Mm -hmm. And as a youth, look for friends who add value in your life. True. L create a network mm -hmm. of friends. Mm -hmm. If you believe that a uh, doctor there is someone you can lean into, mm -hmm. it can help you get a job somewhere. Because we have mo many youths who are educated, mm -hmm. they have papers. Mm -hmm. And also, I will also encourage youths, you need to be to to be creative just create your own job and the government is there to support you as a youth you see because uh if you saw what w and i refer to what was happening in the streets mm -hmm. most of them are saying they need jobs mm -hmm. but the government cannot provide jobs to all of them to, to everybody yeah, yeah but they can provide platforms true like now and uh, the opportunity yeah like yes. now the president mm -hmm. right now he has been given proposals mm -hmm what the youths want but that cannot be solved overnight it's just a matter of time they need to give time they create opportunities they mm -hmm. create platforms they give commentation they provide with them the platform that they need to 
to just get themselves mm. a living yeah. because um, as a young person, you must plan for your life. Don't wait for someone to plan for you. Agreed, agreed. I think that's what we've been doing, planning for our lives for sure. I think we can 